Hello everyone, have you ever torn a muscle or ligament and weren't sure if you could still work out? Or how long the recovery time would be? Well today I want to go over how to repair one of the most important muscles in your body, the shoulder. We use this muscle for almost every type of workout that involves the arms. And most people don't realize how delicate and important this part of our body can be. In this video I want to go over everything from small tears all the way to large tears, what you should do, how long it takes to recover from each, and the things you can do to avoid this nasty problem. Experts highlight several key points regarding shoulder muscle recovery and repair time, particularly focusing on rotator cuff injuries, which are one of the most common causes of shoulder pain and disability. I found some really good information about three critical aspects based on information from the Hospital for Special Surgery and Mayo Clinic. Recovery time definitely varies by injury severity. The recovery time after rotator cuff surgery varies significantly compared to just a small tear you can fix at home or by taking time off from exercising that muscle. It takes about six to eight weeks for the tendon to heal to the bone after surgery. For small tears, the full recovery time might be around four months, while for larger tears, it could extend to six months. In the case of severe or massive tears, complete recovery can range from six to 12 months. Patients can often return to most activities about 12 weeks post-surgery, but engaging in vigorous sports may be restricted for four to six months to ensure full healing. Several surgical techniques are available for rotator cuff repair, including arthroscopic tendon repair, open tendon repair, tendon transfer, and, in severe cases, shoulder replacement. The method chosen depends on factors like the extent of the tendon damage, the patient's overall health, and the specific goals for recovery. But let's say you don't have health insurance or you can't afford surgery. There's actually some cheaper ways through physical therapy and home recovery kits that can save you a ton of money and work really well for non-severe tears. Physical therapy plays a crucial role in the recovery process. If you can afford an expert, I would choose that first. The therapy program often begins with passive movements, gradually progressing to more active exercises as healing allows. Strengthening exercises usually start after the tendon has healed to the bone, around six to 10 weeks. There's also a few things you can do at home as well. And at the end, I'll give you one of the best at home repair recovery kits that are very easy to use and have a very high rating. First, you should manage early pain and swelling. Most people use ice to reduce inflammation and pain. My favorite is to use frozen peas for 15 to 20 minutes every four to six hours, which can help manage the discomfort early in the recovery process. And experts say, for severe swelling and pain reduction, an ice or a cold pack can be applied to your shoulder for 10 to 20 minutes at a time, every one to two hours with a thin cloth between the ice and your skin. Just make sure you don't press hard on your shoulder. Just lightly hold it there to not cause any discomfort. Then, after the swelling and pain has gone down almost completely, you can start to rehabilitate your shoulder by restoring range of motion before progressing to strengthening exercises. You can start by getting a compression recovery shoulder brace, which applies gentle pressure to support the injured area, reducing swelling and improving blood circulation. This can really help with managing pain and inflammation by also reducing sudden movements and keeping your shoulder in its proper positioning. Especially useful for individuals engaged in physically demanding activities, providing the necessary reinforcement. Some braces also help correct poor posture by gently pulling the shoulders back, relieving strain on shoulder and upper back muscles. The effectiveness of shoulder braces can vary among individuals, but many find them beneficial for pain relief and speeding up the healing process. When choosing a brace, it's crucial to select one that fits well and meets your specific needs. Be mindful of your posture, as improper posture can inhibit healing. Avoid heavy lifting and overhead reaching as these actions could compromise your recovery. Adjusting your posture and stretching your upper body periodically can relieve muscle tension. Also, having someone to watch over your exercise routine can ensure you're performing movements correctly. This support can be crucial in preventing further injury and ensuring a smooth recovery. It's important to follow these guidelines closely to aid your recovery. Additionally, be observant of any signs that may indicate complications. Another great home recovery tool is a shoulder pulley. It's basically two handles connected to ropes on a pulley. You have probably seen these in most gyms, but if you haven't, just look them up. There's some good ones on Amazon that are very affordable and work great. Basically, you want to work on three different movements while using the pulley. 
You can either do both arms at the same time, so both your muscles get an even exercise, or you can just focus on the injured shoulder. And then you just want to adjust the pulley so you can hold the pulleys and stretch your arms out straight in every direction. Start with going up and down about 20 to 30 times while only using vertical movements in front of you. Then do the same thing but go up and down vertically from your side, making sure you go all the way straight up and then all the way back down. Then repeat the same thing but now you're going to go horizontal with your arms straight out from the side of your body to the front. These movements will cover all areas while making sure you don't injure yourself any further. Go very slow at first, making sure you don't cause any extra pain. For the vertical movements, try to stick within 180 degrees. Make sure you don't stretch your arm back too far. And for the horizontal movements, try and keep your arm stiff and straight while only working in 90 degree angles from your side to the front of you and back. These pulleys are great because they only allow for natural movement, making sure you are repairing your shoulder and not injuring yourself anymore. Now for the secret sauce, I've actually found a really, really good way to repair shoulder injuries through a kit called the Shoulder Reliever. You can find these at shoulderreliever.com. It is a product designed to alleviate shoulder pain through a combination of daytime exercises and a nighttime brace. It aims to reverse conditions like frozen shoulder, bursitis, impingements, and general shoulder pain within 40 days, offering a money-back guarantee if results are not achieved. The product was developed by Dr. Michael Carroll, a family doctor. From his personal experience with shoulder pain and his dissatisfaction with existing treatments like physical therapy and steroid injections. The shoulder reliever, formerly known as rotator reliever, has been on the market for over 11 years and claims to have helped over 17,000 people. Dr. Carroll's development of the product was motivated by his struggles with shoulder pain and the ineffective treatments he encountered. He believes that proper shoulder positioning at night is critical to healing and the combination of nighttime support and daily strengthening exercises can provide a lifetime free of shoulder pain. The exercise is basically a baton with a wire attached to it, and it comes with four different balls that are different weights that you can attach to the wire and then you spin them by doing three different exercises similar to the pulleys. The program emphasizes not spinning the exercise device too hard or fast, trusting the process with once daily exercises, starting exercises at a comfortable level before gradually increasing intensity and adjusting the nighttime brace for comfort without it pulling on your hand. For those interested in trying out the shoulder reliever for their shoulder issues, the product promises a unique approach that differs from traditional braces, which often immobilize the joint and can lead to muscle weakness. Instead, the shoulder reliever focuses on strengthening and increasing blood flow to the affected area. For more detailed information, you can visit their official site at shoulderreliever.com, where they have instructional videos on how everything works and how to do the exercises effectively. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you learned some useful information here as this knowledge really helped me during my shoulder injury. I'm about nine months into recovery and I rarely ever feel any type of pain. It was really hard not being able to work out at my full potential. But I can say now I am able to do everything from heavy shoulder presses to pull-ups, making sure you use proper form and don't overload too much weight before proper stretching and warming up before each day you work out. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, don't forget to subscribe for more content. I am doing my best to give you guys the best and most up-to-date content. Thank you for hanging out and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe and healthy out there and don't forget to flex and glow. Catch you later fam!